Yesterday, we went ahead and we looked at the first Mad Max movies, Mad Max and Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior. And, well, today we're going to be going ahead and going over Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome and Mad Max Fury Road. Now, with Beyond Thunderdome, uh, that's a very interesting movie for me to talk about. Directed by George Miller, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome was released on July 10th of 1985. And it follows Mad Max, 15 years after the events of the Road Warrior, who wanders into this town run by the evil ruler known as Turner, who forces him to become a gladiator. And once she's done with him, she dumps him in the desert where these orphans find him and take him in as their own. Since because of the fact they have been helpless for years, they rely on Mad Max to help them get to the town so that way they can rescue others who have been taken by Turner. Now, here's the thing with this movie. I do acknowledge it's a good movie, but here's the problem is, is that the first act is mainly the only reason I say that you should watch this movie. The reason I say that is, is, well, the first act is the only act in this movie that feels like a Mad Max movie. Now, well, one of the reasons why this movie feels so different compared to The Road Warrior and the original Mad Max is, well, Mad Max actually cares about people. Here's what I mean. You gotta remember that in Mad Max 2, even though he did help people that he didn't even know, he was originally trying to steal their oil before the Marauders came in. And now when it comes down to Mad Max 3, he's just taken in by these orphans and, well, he just blindly opens up to help them, which goes completely against what Mad Max's character actually was. Now, yes, you could argue that since because of the fact he's the hero of the movie, he has to be more heroic. He has to step up and actually become the hero. But what I say to that is, no, he has to have a flow. He actually has to, we actually have to understand as to why he cares so much. Maybe because of the fact, maybe the kids remind him of his kid that he, that he lost. Or maybe someone reminds him of his wife, or maybe, maybe he's actually seen what happens in this town. But he doesn't, and he just openly cares, which completely compromises what the character stands for. And just because it has problems, does that mean this movie's bad? No. It, when the action gets going, it's good and it's fast-paced, and that's what a Mad Max movie is about. I'm going to give Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome a 7 out of 10. Now that we're done with Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, I am happy to finally begin to talk about my favorite action movie since the year 2010, Mad Max Fury Road. Once again, directed by George Miller, Mad Max Fury Road was released on May 15th of 2015 and follows Max as he is taken in by this man named Morton Joe and his army, who forces him to become a slave for him and his army. While at the same time, there's this general named Furiosa who has taken Immortan Joe's wives to protect them and get them to a safe haven. And once Mad Max finds this out, him and Furiosa team up to finally take down Immortan Joe and his army once and for all. And based on that story alone, it's my favorite in the entire series. There is one reason as to why I like this movie so much and why it's my favorite. The action. This movie is completely action-packed, filled with more stunts and more explosions than the rest of the movies combined. And another re real cool thing that I like about this movie is how over-the-top this movie is. And when I mean over the top, I mean over the top in just about every scene. Like, who the hell comes up with this? A fire spewing guitar. And this. This is supposed to be a sandstorm? What? But you know what, man? I do not care. This movie is one of the most beautiful looking movies I've ever seen. One of the best acted. Well, has some of the best action. If not the best action I have ever seen in a movie. And... Just talking about this doesn't give it justice. You have to watch this movie. If you are even remotely into movies, and even remotely, like the tiniest bit into action, this is a movie that will exhilarate you to, from beginning to end. I'm going to give Mad Max Fury Road the biggest 10 out of 10. And well... There we go. We went ahead and we just went through all four of the Mad Max movies as to whether or not there's going to be a fifth. I do not know, but I hear that there is a movie coming out called Mad Max The Wasteland in a couple of years. That might be interesting, especially if 
it's as good as Fury Road, which you have to check this one out. If you're not gonna, if you're gonna check out any of the Mad Max movies, check this one out. This one is the best. So, with that being said, I hope all of you have a good morning, good day, or good rest of your night, whatever the heck time you're watching this, and I'll see you next time.